Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is April 1st, 2022, and Bitcoin is looking like it found support. It's found support after yesterday's dump, okay? So yesterday, I was talking about how I thought we were going to pump, okay? I thought we were going to pump out of this bull flag, this descending channel, and we actually dumped, all right? I wasn't prepared for that, but in a way I was. Obviously, I was in longs, but I got stopped out, which is okay. Uh, that's part of the game, yeah? Uh, and I'm currently short, but I'm going to be taking profits soon. Why? Because I believe that we found support and that we're putting in a bona fide reversal pattern, okay? And this tells me that we are going to be using this 44,000 level as a launch pad for continuation, okay? And where are we going to continue to? What I'm seeing is very simple. We are going to complete this pattern. This W pattern that we formed on the charts gives us a target of approximately 54,000. Actually, it should be more than that, but here, let's see. Let's see. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, here. The W pattern, I didn't take it from the right place. You have to take it from the widest place, okay? It's a W pattern, or you could say it's a an ascending triangle, and the target is about 55.8, okay? Close to 56K, and once again, as I've been saying, this target is in confluence with the 618 of our 73-day resistance. So it's highly likely that that complete the move to the upside, uh, this initial move to the upside, okay? And so that's where I'm going to be taking profits. I'm going to be entering along soon, okay? So we're going to zoom in. I'm going to sort of uh, talk through what my trade plan for the day is. As I said, I'm currently in a short. I'm going to be taking profit soon. Uh, and I'm going to say uh, that uh, I'm going to basically try to long the bottom, long the support level, okay? And so I, I do anticipate that Bitcoin put in over the weekend uh, and perhaps early until into early next week, a 24% move, okay? That's going to mean a huge, huge, huge upside gain for most altcoins, okay? Because if Bitcoin does 24%, you can expect most altcoins to do two, three, four times that, yeah? All right, let's zoom in. Uh, let's go into our other chart, our trading chart, okay? I trade on Femax. Let's go on a 15-minute time frame. Okay, and here's what I'm seeing in terms of what we're doing on the small time frames. All right, this is the reversal pattern that I'm showing. Um, and I talk about this on the channel a lot. And I know it's not the easiest thing to grasp, um, but essentially it's just a series of three corrective waves, okay? Uh, sorry, that's not how it goes. You have this A wave. Actually, B is down here somewhere. Okay, this is the A wave. Okay, the B wave is forming. We're in the middle of the B wave. So the B wave goes from here. This is A of B. This three wave uh, corrections A of B. This is B of B. One, two, three, right here. And this right here is the pivot that we're in. And we're just dumping from the pivot. And actually to trade this, it's not the easiest thing. Um, the best way to trade these, and let me change the color really quickly. The best way to trade these, if you're shorting, is do it in pieces. Do it in pieces. You can trade the A wave in pieces. It's easy. Just long it. If you can try and catch the bottom, that's a little tricky, but you'd have to use some sort of indicators or some price action, find out where the trend is exhausted if you were able to long the bottom. But if you're not, that's fine. 
it's not that that's not a very um high probability trade because you know it's tough to catch the bottom but once the a wave forms then everything's unlocked because then you know what comes after is a b wave so what you let is what i do is i let the a wave of b form okay once the a wave of b forms then i have a target for b of b okay and i have a stop basically the phi ratio the 1618 fibonacci retracement of this a wave which gives me the phi ratio or the the uh the stop for for b okay so b basically matriculates no lo longer or no higher than that and then once you get into the uh the pivot you have to that's another trade because the stop moves okay this is the a wave of the pivot and so the a wave of the pivot would have its own phi ratio i hope that makes sense um and that phi ratio would be something that uh price cannot exceed right and that would be around 823 right here okay so you could short that using that kind of stop i hope that makes sense I hope it's not too uh complicated but then anyway let's go on to what it would mean what it'll mean once it reaches its target i don't know if it's this is the phi ratio for for the a wave okay so when i'm long i'm going to be using this pink line as my stop um and so we'll probably come here for the impulsive wave of C. And then we're going to probably pivot. So put in a pivot, a uh, three-wave structure for B, and then go on for our impulsive wave to the upside. So that's what I'm seeing on the charts. And that's why I'm long Bitcoin, or I'm going to be longing Bitcoin somewhere as close to my stop as possible, right? That is the best way to reduce risk right that reduces my stop loss um and makes my my trade safer so i'm gonna try to get in around here either uh, at the end of this c wave uh, when i take profit or i'm gonna wait until a forms of the pivot and then wait until this uh three wave structure of b to get in for my long uh and again i i i'm long 56k pretty much i'm going to set my targets for 55a or 56k or, or short 56k all right so that's what i'm seeing on the charts hope this was helpful hope this was use useful like share and subscribe um and i will see you guys tomorrow Bye.